Hi guys! So I'm back again. I know it's been forever, but I am here with my most requested video, hands down, since I started YouTube, which is my handbag collection. I've been waiting to do this video because I wanted to wait until I loved everything in my collection, and I do. So I felt like right now is the perfect time to do it. So I have all my bags right here, and I'm just going to go in no particular order and just start going through them. So if, so if you guys want to see my handbag collection, keep watching. So just a little heads up, I am going to go kind of quickly because I do have a lot of bags. Um, I am going to include my clutches, so it might take me a little while, but we're going to try to get through it. So my first bag is the first bag I ever showed here on YouTube, and this is my Fendi Peekaboo, and this is in the Celeria or Celeria leather. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it is in white. Um, probably not the best choice, but it is what it is. Um, it does get very dirty and color transfer is a huge issue, but I love it and it's perfect for summer. And yeah, this is my um, first bag, which is my Fendi Peekaboo. My next bag I have to show you is my small Fendi peekaboo and this is in red with gold hardware. I'm not sure if I mentioned the other one was gold hardware also. Gold and silver hardware so it was two-tone. Um, but yep this one's small. It does come with a crossbody strap which I'm not sure where that is. I still have stuff in here. So I usually use this bag more in the fall and summer. Um, I love it with like a pair of shorts and cute flip-flops and I also love it in the fall when I'm like first starting to wear scarves and stuff and I don't want to carry something that's like big. I just want something light where I can fit everything in it and this actually does fit quite a bit. So this is always a good bag to have in my collection. My next bag I have to show you is more of like a casual bag. Um, if I'm going somewhere where I really don't want to get dressed up, I just want something that I really don't care too much about um, and I don't have to worry about it. Um, I'm going to use my Burberry bag. This is um, the Little Crush. I think that's what it's called. And this is a crossbody bag. You can use it as a clutch. Um, I haven't used it as a clutch. I don't really think it's dressy. I do stuff all of my bags. So to keep the shape, but this is leather and um, I want to say it's suede right here, but this bag is held up pretty good. Um, this suede does get dirty really easily. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the back has a few white spots, but I don't really care about this bag too much. This is just more of like a play bag. Um, so yeah, this is my Burberry small crush bag, mini crush bag. I'm not sure. Okay, my next bag is a bag that I'm sure everybody has or loves or uses a ton if they do have it. And that is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. And this is in the GM. I do, like I said, stuff it so it does keep its shape. But I love this bag. Oh my God, I don't use it that often, but when I need a bag, like when I'm going over my friend's house to get ready, I throw everything in here. Um, when I go out and I bring my little Pama Poo, my little puppy Ollie, I throw him in here with my wallet, all of my stuff. I fit everything in here. It has held up so well. Um, I do use this as my carry-on when I fly, like on the airplane. It's just like an all-around good bag. You can throw it around, not take care of it, and it will last forever. I um, did read that they can hold up to 220 pounds. I'm not sure if that's true. Um, I don't think I could put 220 pounds worth of stuff in here, but I do fill it up, and since it does have the thin straps, they, it does stay in your shoulder really well, and it's just such a good bag. Like, if you have to buy one designer bag, either this or a Balenciaga. Like those would be my two go-to bags. And then for storage purposes, I don't have a lot of space in my um, room. So I do 
have another bag inside of it. Ta-da! And my next bag, which I have stuffed, is my Prada Safiano tote. This is not the double zip tote. Um, sorry, take some of that out. Um, this is not the double zip tote. Um, it's just the single one with the pocket. I love this bag. It holds up really well, I think, because of the coated leather. Um, yeah, I don't really have too much to say about this bag. My mom hates designer bags. Like, she does not like designer bags. And she loves this bag. She's always like, don't ever sell that bag. I always want you to have it in your collection. So, for the most part, I keep this bag because of her. Um, yeah, this is just a really good bag. It's held up really well. I've had it for a couple years now. Um, whenever I'm going to a business meeting or something where I want to look a little more professional, this is usually the bag I will take. So, I would like to eventually get the smaller version um, the cro with the crossbody strap in the double zip, but probably not anytime soon, but it definitely is on my wish list, so to say. So, this is my um, Prada Safiano. It does have gold hardware, and you can close it to make it look a little bit smaller but it fits quite a bit and I like how it's just one pocket and not a bunch of pockets it does have two other pockets it has one zip and then one just slot where you can put your probably your phone or some lip gloss or something but I like how it is just one thing because when I open it I can see everything I have which is like a big plus to me because I hate having to go into like multiple zippers to get something that I'm looking for so yeah I definitely love that bag my next bag I have to show you guys is um, a bag I just featured on my channel a couple weeks ago. It may be my last video actually. And that was in my current obsessions and a Fendi reveal. And that is my Fendi Micro um, By The Way bag. And this is in like the light blue color. It's super pretty. Um, I'd have to say that this is like... Probably my one of my favorite bags like I probably have like three favorites and this is like one of them This is probably like my second favorite. Um, I love this bag. I actually wish they made a bracelet um, Out of like the same thing they make the cocktail out of like out of the Swarovski crystals and leather um, Inside just to give you guys a little look it does have a zippered compartment and then one other little compartment right there. You can wear it as a crossbody or you can use these little straps. Um, I love using the straps. I think they're so cute. This bag is perfect for going out at night. It's like you don't even have to wear a lot of jewelry because this is just so out there. It just definitely makes your outfit. And I love, oh, I love this bag. I want to get my initials monogrammed on it, like on the tag, but um, I don't know how I would go about that since I didn't get it done when I bought it. But I love this bag. Oh my god, I love it. I haven't taken it out in like a week or two, so it's still good. Um, Yeah, no feet. All right, I gotta stop. <laughs> I love this bag so much. It's so cute. Okay, Um, yeah. Okay, I'm done. Okay, my next bag I did show you in my last video also. <laughs> I'll just get these two out of the way. This is my um, Charlotte Simone poof bag. Um, it is made out of Mongolian sheep skin, or no, sheep fur or whatever, and sheep hair, whatever. And it has a satin, pink satin lining. And it does have this cute little chain for decoration because you can't use it. And yeah, it's just a big poof. It's about the size of my head. But I love this. I think it's super cute. I would use this all year round. Um, like I think in the summer, like just it'll make an outfit, especially if you want to get a little dressed up and you're not going anywhere too crazy because I don't like to bring this out at night when I go to bars and out to dinner because I'm afraid that it's going to get ruined. But yeah, I love this. It's definitely squishy too. It can get really small. So if you're going on vacation, you could always just pack it because it like flattens. It's like a scarf. But um, I love this bag. And this is pretty affordable for like a higher end bag. Um, I would compare it to like a Michael Kors or something like that. 
but I love like newer designers. I keep doing the quotations. I don't know why, but I love newer designers and I had just heard about her. I don't know if she's really that new, but I love her stuff. Um, she has these long scarves. Um, they're, po they're called the popsicle scarves, but, um, I love those. I'm getting a little off track. So yeah, this is my Charlotte Simone bag. Oh, it's called the pom 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 bag. If you guys are interested. Next, I have another bag that I have shown on my channel, which is my Balenciaga um, backpack. And the cool thing about this bag, I have to say, it, this is one of my top threes, like I had said earlier, is um, it's so versatile, it's ridiculous. You can use it as a handheld, and it does fit in the crook of your arm. So you can use it as a handheld. You can take the which I probably showed you guys all this already. But you can take the backpack part where it's split and you can actually zip it so it turns into a sling. Or you can remove this strap altogether if you don't like the look. Um, I love this bag. It's held up so good. This is in the lambskin, I think. Um, not the goat skin. I'm not sure though. Yeah, I think I'm right. Anyways, it has this pa um, pouch pocket thing right here. It has the mirror that comes with it. Um, this is just for looks. That doesn't, you can't fit anything in there. I mean, it doesn't zip, but you can't fit in there, anything in there. The only thing I would say about this bag I don't like is how instead of like opening like this way, it opens like that, and it does make it a little bit difficult to get into, but I live with it because I love the look of this bag. Um, and I got an amazing deal on it, so I got, like, a ridiculous deal on it. So, um, yeah, this is my Balenciaga, oh, it's called the Traveler Backpack, in case you guys are wondering. They do have it at Barney's, um, but not with the gold hardware, they have it with the regular hardware, but it's still cute. And they do make it in lime green, but I was way too afraid of color transfer, so I just stuck with the black. So, yeah, this is my last, um... Not my last bag. This is, um, yeah, this is my Balenciaga backpack. Okay, I'm going to do my last bag, and then I'm going to move into more of my smaller bag slash clutches. So this is my number one favorite bag. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys know this bag and covet it, and it's such an amazing bag. When, um, just like a little um, tidbit, before I had, sorry I keep leaning over here, it's just because I want to show the bag, so it's like hard. But anyways, um, before I got this bag, I was so anti it, I don't know why. I just was like, no, I'm never going to get one, I'm not really a big fan of it. And then I tried it on, and <laughs> I just couldn't take it off. I walked out of the store with it. Um, so, it, it just, the only thing is it's kind of heavy, but you you deal with it for fashion, right? So this is the current bag I'm using right now. Um, this is my Chanel Jumbo in caviar leather with silver hardware. Um, it is, um, it was bought in 2012. I do have my little Fendi monster on it. Um, and then I have my keys and stuff. This is the double flap. And yeah, I, I'm using it like right now, like I said. Um, I do keep my receipt right here and nothing in the back, but um, I love this bag. It has the back pocket. I love this bag. I have a feeling like everyone's going to start commenting below about how my bags are fake because that's what people seem to like to do for some reason. I don't know if they do that to everyone, but um, for some reason a lot of people like to comment and say my bags are fake. I don't know if... I'm like, I kind of want to show my receipt just to prove myself, but I don't know why I feel the need to, like, even prove myself. But whatever. So here's the um, authenticity card, if you guys were wondering what that looks like. And here is my receipt. If you guys were wondering what that looks like. Um, I bought this. Sorry, I got cut off. Um, I bought this at Chanel um, in New York, the one right off of Madison Avenue. Um... 15th East and 57th Street. So yeah, um, I don't know why I even felt the need to do that, but I did. <laughs> so whatever. Um, so yeah, 
This is definitely an amazing bag. Oh, I love it. I do, one of my favorite ways to wear this bag is to like make it so the straps are like, hold on, let me show you really quick. Make it so the straps are like this, so it's really short. And I use it as like a little bit of a handheld. Um, I do bring this clutch, I mean, I do bring it out at night as a clutch, but it's huge. Um, but I just love it so much. So yeah, I usually put it away for a couple months, take it out for a couple months, but um, I always go back to it. That's always a good thing, right? So yeah, that's my other, that's my last bag. So now we're going to move more onto my clutches and like mini bags and stuff. Okay, so all of my other bags that I just showed you, I keep in a dust bag on my little shelving, my bookcase. Um, I might put in a clip at the end of how I store my bags, but um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet. But all of my clutches, I keep in this big tin thing that is freaking heavy. And I'm just gonna go randomly through because um, they're not in order, but okay. So first I have my Stella McCartney bag. Um, I'm not sure what the name of this bag is, but I love it. It is so pretty. Um, it reminds me of like what a mermaid's tail would look like. Um, it is, it does have a big pocket and then a zippered pocket and then you just fold it over. You can use it as a clutch or a shoulder bag. Um, this is one of the few bags that I like that is smaller and I do use as a shoulder bag. I love it. It's so fun for summer. It is like the ideal summer bag. Next I have my Balenciaga envelope clutch and this one is with the strap. I'm not sure. I, oh, I did show this before. Um, I did purchase it in silver and um, I didn't like it so I returned it. I did do an unboxing of that. I will link it below. Um, I love the pink and I'm not a huge pink person but I just do love the pink color of this bag. This silver to me wasn't a bright, vibrant silver. And so I just didn't like it. I just felt like it was kind of like mediocre and I didn't want to spend a good chunk of money on a mediocre bag. Um, next I have a Chanel. Um, this is um, my wallet on a chain. And here it is. Here it is. It's in the red patent. Um, I think. I think. Can't talk right now. I think it's called the lipstick red. I'm not sure. I have the authenticity card in here, and then just the little um, pocket up top. I love this bag. I love that it's patent. Um, I did use this for New Year's Eve, and it worked out perfectly. Um, surprisingly, for a wallet on a chain, you can fit a lot in here. <laughs> I mean. I, that night I had my camera, um, I had my phone, I had lip gloss, money, um, a comb, like I had so much stuff in here, it was ridiculous, I can't, I still can't believe I fit everything in that. Um, next I have, oh I forgot about this bag, <laughs> I don't use this bag as much now that I have the iPhone 6 Plus because I can't fit my phone in it, but this is my Christian Louboutin Sweet Mini Charity Bag. And this is the one that has studs all around. I'm not sure if it's, I think it's showing up the true color. It is a deep purple um, with gold hardware. It's so pretty. And I love how it has his little emblem right here. And it also has red interior, which is awesome. And it has a little pocket. So I definitely love this bag like as an evening bag. If you're looking for like an out there bag that's going to be like a statement piece, then this was definitely something, this is definitely something you guys want to consider. So that is that. Um, gosh, I have so many bags. Next, I'll show you this little pouch. Um, I do use this as a clutch. This is by Charlotte Olympia. And this is just a little poodle clutch. Um, it does have... I like have a bunch of stuff in here, but it does have pink satin interior and it's just a cute bag. Um, I usually keep it inside a bag, but sometimes I will bring it out as a clutch. Like if I'm just going quickly for drinks and stuff. Um, this video is going to be so long. 
Okay, next I have a bag by Sarah's Bags, and this is a full beaded clutch. Um, the front is fully beaded, and the back and the inside is leather. Um, one thing I love about this bag is the mirror. Um, how cool is that to have a mirror in your bag? I mean, you automatically don't have to bring a compact or a mirror. Like if you just want to check yourself, you can just do it discreetly too, right? Um, it does have an interior pocket and then I tuck the chain in. So that is that. Um, next I have a bag that I will never get rid of just more for sentimental reasons. Um, this is one of my first designer bags. Um, I went to Hawaii with my family to visit a friend and they had a Marc Jacobs store there and I had never been never been in a Marc Jacobs store. And I went in and I saw this and it was like wicked cheap. It was on sale and I had to have it. <clears throat> so this, I'm not even sure what it's called, but I love the interior too. Oh my God, it's so dirty because I used it so much. But um, it's just a little khaki crossbody. Um, sorry, that's, that's a scratch. Um, I The leather is so soft. I did wear the crap out of this bag. But um, I actually might keep it out and use it because it's actually really cute. Um, but I love this bag. Yeah, so it was my first bag that I went into the store and just bought. Um, it's just, I don't know, I have so many memories. And I did buy it in um, on Oahu on the strip so I just can't get rid of it I love it too much okay um I think I only have oh no I have a couple more oh my gosh so many okay my next bag is my Rebecca Minkoff bag in the gold lame this is um the mini mac uh this bag's really cute it is pretty heavy um because the chain is so heavy but you can wear it crossbody, you can tuck the strap in and use it as a clutch. Um, there's so much you can do with this bag. It is not leather, it is a type of um, fabric. I think it's like cotton or something. But I love the, it's so flashy. I love the color of it. Um, so that's super cute. Um, what do I have next? I have my last Chanel bag. Um, this is like a really old bag. But um, it is in lambskin, which I have to say, if you're going to spend the money on a Chanel bag, don't get it in lambskin. Not a good decision, especially in a light color. I don't know what I was thinking. But this is my, uh, I'm not even sure, I think this is like, I'm not even sure which bag this is. Um, so I couldn't even tell you. It's like a, definitely an evening bag. But it has a strap that goes like so. You cannot wear this as a crossbody. You probably, you may be able to get away with it if you're like five foot. But yeah, um, this has gold hardware. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is pretty darn dirty. Yeah, you can definitely tell, I think, on camera. Um, but it's in a light blue lambskin. And it's just, I don't know. I just... Don't feel it. Sorry, I just don't feel like um, this bag held up as well as a Chanel should. But hey, I'm not gonna say anything. I mean, Chanel, Chanel. And then the last thing I have to show you is actually um, a wallet. I'll just include it just because it's in my clutch thing. And sometimes they do bring it as a clutch. And this is just my Chanel CC wallet, and it's an emerald. Um, I do have a lot of stuff in here, but I haven't been using it lately. Um, but yeah, it's in gold hardware and it's just cute. I love this wallet. I think it's like, it's not picking up the true color, but it's like a really, really bright green. It's like, um, St. Patty's Day green. It's so cute. So yeah. Okay guys, so I got through all of my bags. Um, hopefully this isn't like a 40 minute video, but um, we'll say it probably will be. But that is my whole bag collection. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of the bags, just um, comment below. I get back to you guys like pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I hope it was everything you guys thought it would be. Um, I don't have a huge bag collection. I don't have a small one either, but I don't um, 
all of my bags I love and there's a purpose to why I have them. So they're all very practical, which is good, right? They should be. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys liked this video, like I said, and yeah, hopefully I can film another one really soon. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.